Hey, how you doing out there? This is Mr. Perez again. Today, we are going to work on the addition and multiplication properties of equality. Oh, what fun. And this is only part one. You'll have to come back again for part two. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and bring up our student of the semester, Charlie. Let's just see what he's up to. Hey, Charlie, how's it going? Oh, pretty good. Yeah, remember, um, Today we're doing the addition and multiplication properties of equality, part one. Part one? Well, and remember, there's a test coming up in a couple of weeks there, so you going to be ready for that test, Charlie? I hope so. Yeah, well, you better be. Remember, you can always come back and take it next semester. <laughs> anyway, okay, we, it's time for us to get to work here. So, we are going to do the addition property, oh, sorry, the addition and multiplication properties of equality. So let's go ahead and start with a relatively simple problem. Basically, what we're looking at is this problem here, x plus 3 equals 7. Now, a lot of these problems, some of you can just look at the answer and say, well, the answer is obviously 4, Mr. Perez. Yes, it is. But we want to talk about how to solve these problems algebraically. Well, the addition property of equality allows us to add numbers to both sides of our equation. It also implies that we can subtract numbers from both sides of our equation because remember, adding a number is the same as what, Charlie? Subtracting. That's right, subtracting. So, <clears throat> now there are different formats for adding numbers to both sides of an equation and I'm going to show you a couple uh, different formats here because I've received some emails from students saying, well, I like to do it this way and I like to do it this way and I like to do it that way. Yeah, well, nobody asked for your opinion. Anyway, um, so I will address those uh, issues by uh, addressing your emails and say, okay, I'll show it a couple different ways. But we're going to just show this, do it. I am going to do the problems only one way. So what we're going to do now is look at, at this type of uh, problem here, where what we actually did is we subtracted 3 from both sides of our equation. Our goal here is to get the 1x by itself. That's what we're trying to get. So. You see here, we're subtracting 3 to both sides of our equation here. Now, why do we subtract 3 in the first place, Charlie? To get rid of the plus 3? Okay, to get rid of that 3 that's next to the x. So, we come here and we notice that those two 3's cancel out. Now, Charlie, what's plus 3? Subtract 3. 0. It's 0. And what's x plus 0? X. That will be x. So, as Charlie said, we now have x plus 0, and notice on the right-hand side, 7 minus 3 is 4, and x plus 0 was x, as Charlie said, and there it is, x equals 4, and don't forget to box your answer, or circle it. Okay, the format that we're going to be using, though, is a more of a vertical format, okay? We're going to do the same problem in what I'm calling a vertical format, okay? There's our problem there, x plus 3 equals 7. And we're going to subtract 3 from both sides, right? Charlie, write this down. As a matter of fact, write it down twice. <laughs> okay, here we are subtracting 3 in a vertical format. Now, what we do, remember, we're subtracting 3 to cancel out, that cancel out that plus 3. And so we put a bar here and then bring down your equal sign, just like we have there. Okay, now on the left-hand side, notice the 3's will cancel out. So plus 3, minus 3 cancel out, leaving you with only a what on the left-hand side, Charlie? Uh, x. Okay, and what's on the right-hand side? What's 7 subtract 3? 4. Very good, it is 4, so there you go. So, we'll write down our answer down here, and our solution is x equals 4, okay? Now, about some of those emails I received, well, some people like to do it this way, because remember, so everybody's at different levels in pre-algebra. Some people are a little bit ahead of others, but we all got to go at one pace, right? Yeah. So let me go ahead and draw one of the, uh, or list one of the different ways of doing this problem. Some people look at this same problem as x plus 3, and they want to move the plus 3 to the other side, okay? And so what we're going to do here is we're going to take that plus 3 there and move it to the other side, okay? And so, x equals 7, subtract 3. Notice they put the plus 3 to the other side, it became a subtract 3. It's because you're subtracting 3 from both sides, and therefore it cancels out on the left side, but it still remains on the right-hand side there. And again, you get x equals 4, and we'll list our answer there, x equals 4. Now, if you prefer to do it that way, that's up to you. But you do it, whatever works for you. Remember, you can do these problems in many different ways, but there is only one answer. 
Okay, so let's look at a different, time, a different problem here. This time we have x minus 3 equals 7. And so we're going to move that negative 3 to the other side. Okay, that negative 3 to the other side, and it's going to become what, Charlie, with this format? x. Yes, it will become a plus 3 when you take it to the other side. So let's go ahead and do that, and there it is. So plus x three. equals 7 plus 3. Okay, and so this answer is 10. Okay, and so there, <coughs> there we go. There's our answer, x equals 10. So anyway, that's some of the formats that some of you had emailed and said, well, I do it this way. That's fine. If you do it that way, it's okay. But we're only going to stick to one format, and that format I'm going to use <laughs> is this one here, this vertical format. Okay, So I always like to do my lectures the same every time, and then you and your facilitator or tutor or your parents, you know, these are good problems to discuss at the dinner table. Yeah, good dinner table conversation to talk about um, the addition and multiplication properties of equality. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I do appreciate your emails, so I thank you for all that, and I'll try to do as best I can to answer, get them back to you. So, uh, But I appreciate your emails, and I appreciate you watching these videos, and I hope you pass your math class. Remember, you're in college now. This is the big time. The big time. All right, let's look at a problem here. We're going to use our vertical format here. X minus 5 equals 9. Charlie, what number do we add to both sides? 5. Very good, Charlie. Yes, it's a plus 5. So our format, okay, we'll write down plus 5, plus 5. We will... Draw our bar across, bring down our equal sign, and the minus 5 and the plus 5 will do what, Charlie? Cancel. Okay, they will cancel out, and that will leave us with what on the left-hand side, Charlie? X. X, and the right-hand side would be? 14. 14, there we go. And so that gives us our solution, X equals 14. Don't forget your block to box your answer, okay? Let's go to another one. X minus 6 equals negative 3. Charlie, what do we do to both sides of this equation? Add 6. Okay, we add 6 to both sides. Remember, we're trying to get that X by itself. So we'll go ahead, add 6 to both sides. We'll bring down our little bar here. Bring down our equal sign. And the 6's cancel out. And so we get X on the left-hand side equals what, Charlie? Three. Negative 3 plus 6 is 3. three. Very good, Charlie. So we'll list our answer down here and box it. Okay, let's do another one. Let's take this one here. X plus 8 equals 0. Yes, and some of you might be thinking, well, I already know the answer. Well, that's okay if you know the answer, but you're walking down the street and some kid comes up to you and asks you, hey, mister or ma'am, can you solve this problem for me? Well, this is how you're going to tell it. You say, okay, X plus 8 equals 0. You're going to subtract 8 from both sides, right, Charlie?